Okay, so what I'm gonna do is show you one of the really effective ways to run retargeting ads. It's actually a really cheap way to lower your cost per lead. And so what that is, is we're gonna retarget people who see your ad, but don't become a lead to come back and become a lead. So that's really what we're looking for. So the idea is you have a landing page and they opt in on the landing page, they go to a thank you page. But anyone who hits the landing page and doesn't go to the thank you page, we wanna run an ad to bring them back. Cause they could be doing something on Facebook, maybe they're at work, something interrupted them, a phone call came in, but for whatever reason, they clicked on the ad and they were interested, but just didn't work out that they opted in this time. So what we're gonna do when you watch this tutorial is show you how to run an ad to bring them back. This should lower your cost per lead quite a bit and is a really effective way to run an ad and you can do it for really cheap. And especially now with the campaign budget optimization option, you can actually just include it in your regular budget and Facebook will automatically optimize it for the best cost per lead, which makes it even more effective. But it does take a little bit of time to set up to have it done the right way. So let's walk you through how to do it then you can go and deploy it and it'll make your campaigns a lot more effective. And if you have any questions about it, just put it in the comments and I'm happy to help. So I'm filming this one under the assumption you have the Pixel on your website already. If you don't, you can flip over to our other videos of how to install the Pixel. But basically what we wanna make sure is that your Pixel is on every single page of your website. And for this piece to work, what you need to have is a landing page that you're sending someone to. And then also, a thank you page that's separate. So you have a landing page, when they become a lead, you have a thank you page. So when you're in the ads manager, if you come up here, you're coming to the audience section, which is over here, and that's where we are now. So you come to create an audience, and we're gonna create a custom audience. And then under here, what we wanna do is we wanna to go to website traffic, and I'll show you another way to do it too after. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, anyone who has been to a specific page. So for example, this one could be something like just sellhomes.com slash homeeval. So this would in theory be someone who's coming to a specific landing page. And we say anyone who comes to that page exactly, but then we wanna say, okay, and then further refine it by people who have been to the thank you page. So we're gonna to come to so homes.com slash home eval. Thank you. Um, so these aren't actually real domains, um, but it's just using it as the example. So what this is doing is I'm saying, okay, anyone who has been to the home evaluation page in the last 30 days, run an ad to them, but exclude anyone who's been to the thank you page in the last 30 days. So what's that doing is saying, Anyone who's come to that page but has not gone on, that's who we're gonna run the ad for. So we could do home eval visit, but not lead. And that's now how we're gonna create it. And then you just hit click on create audience. So very, very easy to do. And you could do this for a bunch of different ways, but now what we can do is when we build the ad, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's create that audience, done. And we're gonna to to create an ad using this audience. So you can see like, just as an example, we could send traffic over there. We'll just go to continue for a minute here. And we're gonna come down here and go use a custom audience, see? So because we clicked it right from where we created it, it's already built in. But if it wasn't, we would just come in here, click and then find it and put it in. So home eval. So what this ad is doing right now is anyone in the area we choose. So say we're in Toronto. Right now, this ad would go to anyone in Toronto who visited the, that landing page for a home evaluation, but didn't fill it in. Then you can just go through, fill out the rest, and now you could actually run this ad pretty effectively. And what that does, it's a really cheap way to bring people back. Now, if you're using Facebook lead forms, this is even easier to do. So you'd come back to audiences. And this is a trick, because not everyone wants to do this with landing pages. So you can come here and say, create audience, custom audience, lead form, and you have to pick a form. So you'd come in and say, okay, in the past 90 days, anyone who opened, and we'll just go to the Just Sell Homes one. So you pick your page, 
select the specific form. I'll say, okay, this one. And what I want is anyone who opened but didn't submit. And so for this one, it's this easy. It just goes to anyone who opened the form but didn't submit in the last 90 days. Really, really effective way to run it, it's tied. So this one would be like home under 600, visit but not lead. And that would now create an audience for that one. And again, this is one of the cheapest ways to get more leads because it's people who have already shown an interest but haven't actually opted in yet. If you have any questions, again, just throw them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. I hope you found that useful. Again, this is an incredible way to lower your cost per lead. And it also is just a really cool way to advertise because it makes you look like you're everywhere. And that can really impress clients. So that gives them that added impression of someone who really knows what they're doing when you're sitting down with them, especially at like a listing appointment. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments and we're happy to create videos for those going forward. But this is an incredible way to lower your cost per lead. So subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more videos like this or let us in the comments know what other types of things you want to learn how to do with Facebook ads and we'll definitely film some videos helping you out. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon.